Hello everyone, this is Abby and welcome back to us. This tutorial here are for those people uh, who are affiliated to do something innovative in the field of computer science and it's just completely educational purpose. So misuse of this knowledge is a criminal offense. So I would suggest you guys not to use for personal or revenge purpose, okay? So let's start again. So um, in the previous video we learned about searching anybody using two online tools which is Anywho and Spokio. In case you didn't, uh, if you guys didn't see my previous video, so just go back and watch. Even I would suggest you guys, in, you're missing out something. So if you're watching this video and haven't watched any previous video, I would suggest you guys to watch from start because for doing anything big, you need to have some kind of foundation. Yeah, this is important actually. So, so today we'll learn about uh, following. Uh, sorry, I mean analyzing domain and IP address queries using smart Tools. tool so the smart Tools tool is actually a tool okay it's an application which you can use to obtain I guess now things are becoming quite interesting for you guys I hope it should become and uh, I hope you guys know how to download a uh, tool from online like here like from Google in case you don't it's okay I'll show you up okay so I'll just go on Google and then again on Google Type smart choice, yeah. And here's the link. First one, I can open and download it. It's, it's kind of trusted, even I have used this one to download. So, you can go for this. Even I have posted the link in case you don't want to do such hard work of opening Google and then searching smart choice and then making a search and then looking up after everything. So I've posted a link in the description down below. Just go check it out and just download it and you start using it. So I've already downloaded the tool, so I don't need to download it again. Yeah. So here's the tool for me. Uh, once you have downloaded it, downloaded it, so you just go to open this, and the same way a window will pop up on your screen. Okay, blank, 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 everything. Yeah, it's a matter. It can totally fill up. So uh, if you guys are following up this video series, then you guys know that we are. Well, after one computer network and that is certifiedhacker.com like every time so I'm gonna use that same one okay if you guys wanna use anything else random target so you can go on it's okay certifiedhacker.com I mean certifiedhacker.com yeah and just press after entering your domain press enter so it will show you the entire results for the target Okay, if you remember that when we are pinging up the target and doing some NS lookup thing, we obtain the same IP address for certifiedhacker.com. That's 61.89.31.193. I asked you guys to note it down somewhere if you remember. Just check it out. You can check it out. The results are quite similar. Okay, but here you have the name, you have the address, you have the state, and you have the country, you have the phone number, you have email. And if you remember, it's bluehost.com. You used to obtain this things, yeah? So, like the same way you can actually obtain for any IP address. For example, I'll change the IP, I'll change the domain like google.com. Just to show you guys, we enter and we obtain the google.com. Here's the IP address, here's the name, here's Google Incorporate, address, place, state, country, phone number, fax, email. Yeah, for NFLookup and mail exchange too. I mean, yes, email exchange command, you didn't receive any email address, yeah? That's because your firewall was making some kind of shit. Even mine, it doesn't matter. So actually, you can obtain this from here now, okay? So, have a lot of details, enough details to get, to make a social engineering attack, actually. That's more than enough, yeah. I hope you guys know about social engineering, doesn't matter. Uh, we, I'll tell you in the further videos, okay? It's quite early to learn about social engineering. Anyways, so uh, let's go for another domain just to check. Yeah, Facebook.com. That would be cool. Yeah, okay, let's go. Now, IP address. Okay, Facebook Incorporate. Again, the address, the state, the country, the phone number, the fax. Everything, man. Everything. You got everything. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. Hmm. So this is how you can actually use smart tools to trace out any domain and get the in enough information about the any domain you need to know. Yeah. 
let's go for any anybody it can use actually anybody here yeah? i mean any domain and get the information about it so let's end up this video here yeah, yeah it wasn't a big task i guess i don't need to explain to you guys anything in case uh, still in case if you guys have any doubt you can just comment down below and uh, uh, and now, now I have, I have a Facebook page also, so I need to just ask series itself this channel. Yeah, you can go there and watch the video in case you're not in a mood to open YouTube and busy with chatting on Facebook with someone, maybe someone special, don't know. So you can actually use my page and watch the same videos over there also. I will consider just to post this video there and like my page and as well as like my channel, like every video, comment and share, subscribe. Please subscribe, yeah. That's very important for me also. So you can actually, yeah, you know, and yeah, sharing is more important because uh, it's good to spread out the awareness about cybersecurity and learning these things for like in a proper manner. Because I don't think anyone is teaching this for in a proper manner, not for free at least. Yeah, but still, yeah, this is a good thing to learn anything in a proper manner. So for now, let's say goodbye to each other and yeah. Just share, like, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.